Good morning guys, I'm here in the Northern Thai village of Mae Salong and this is the morning market. We're just gonna check this out. Passport stamp, now I am in Myanmar. First time vlogging in Myanmar. Ross? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, nice to meet you. My name is Mirchet. Mirchet? My name is Pudas. 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 Nice to meet you. <laughs> Woo! <All right. laughs> See ya. We were just talking about Aung San Suu Kyi, which is like the female president and how she's gone through this like 30 plus year struggle of incarceration, uh, forced labor, house arrest, and um, uh, just a very tumultuous past. And it was something that we had kind of talked about over food, and I had brought up to uh, Brock just because of how much awareness the people have for what she's trying to do in Myanmar. And as we were walking up the street... <laughs> well, first this guy comes up and, and, and introduces himself and and it starts talking about her and then says her party headquarters is over here. You guys want to learn more? And, and like that's like the first thing they're so proud of. And they want to talk to, to what, you know foreigners about. Mm -hmm. And then we keep walking up a little bit more and then these other guys come up and they like stop their bike and just like, they're so excited. They take the photos with us, photos and- They want to shake our hands. Yeah, they, like, um, they're saluting us and just like, I don't know. It was, it was an interesting experience. I. I really want to spend more time here. I, this is a country that 
I'd like to spend more time in. Yeah, it, it, it might not feel as secure or as safe as Thailand does because there's been so much like political upheaval and there is a lot of poverty, but the sense is that they understand that Westerners bring money and they bring tourism yeah. and they are so proud of the fact that their country is now democratic yeah. and they want everyone to know that. It's, right. it's really moving. Yeah. I love this place though, like the mountains, the city, it's beautiful. If you, first of all, why isn't Myanmar a more popular destination to go to? Second, why are we the only Westerners that we've seen? And third, why is it that we get the sense that they don't resent us being here? I think you know, those are all valid questions. Yeah, yeah. You've, have you noticed any, you've noticed that too? Yeah, right? no, it's it's a, di it's a difference from Thailand. It, it, just the subtle things, it's a difference. 27? Oh, yes. 30. 30. 30. 30, yeah. 68. 68, wow. <laughs> so I've just met some very nice people who speak English, and uh, they're going to show us where we can get some good khao sui. And uh, I asked her what was the... Um, we see a lot of the people with uh, this sort of uh, paint, paint or mud on their face and she said that it's sandalwood bark that they grind up. It's something they do here in Myanmar and uh, no makeup, they just put that on their face. It looks really neat, it's really neat. <coughs> they, they invite us to their house. Really? Oh, thank you. Do you want to? Bro, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm leaving this one up to you. you yeah, of friend. course, of course, thank you. <laughs> okay, the chili. Yeah, chili, yes. uh -huh. and this one is peanut powder. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. No, 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 so I'm like, I'm just kind of blown away right now because, the, again, just as we were saying, like this whole this whole time, the, the people here are just incredibly friendly, and uh, we, we just happened upon this woman, and, and I was just sitting down petting this cat in the street, and uh, that's not a euphemism for like something else. No, no, I was <laughs> literally. <laughs> She just comes up and she says, oh, where are you from? And, and it's her, another older lady, and, and her two granddaughters. And um, she speaks really good English, and she explains she's Roman Catholic. She says she's, uh, her grandparents were from England. And, you know, she's really interested in what we're doing here and who, who we are. She introduced herself and her grandkids. Just this, the friendliest woman smiling, and, and, and she asked us, if we ate or what we're doing and I said well we're oh she said where are we going and I said well maybe back to Thailand but we're looking for a good restaurant you know so we asked her recommendation for khao soy obviously yeah for khao soy because we, we just wanted to, to know the best place and so yeah. ask a little um, so she kind of says well this restaurant maybe but no come follow us come with us so we're walking and she's talking to us the whole way she said that she's 68 years old 68 years old she's a uh, middle school teacher middle school teacher and her two granddaughters were 11, and uh, she offered to pay for our food, which I thought yeah, was like when we finally got here, she she off, she asked to pay for our food, which is just I was blown away by that. But um, of course, no. And then she invited us to come to her house. Well, we offered to bring 
food to their house, yeah. like any good guest should. Um, and she refused. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're here. Yeah, so, so we exchanged Facebook information with her granddaughter. And yeah. I don't know. I'm Maybe just, you'll pick up dessert. Yeah. And go bring dessert, or bring candy or something like that. Yeah, we could do that. Um, because this isn't this isn't an experience that you get out of a guidebook. Yeah, totally or off of not. a YouTube totally channel. You just, Except yeah. rocks. Yeah. <laughs> get out in the world and just you know see what happens, see who you can meet. Um, go go off the beaten path. That's just the bottom. It's an opportunity that you can't replicate. Um, and at least in my opinion, old man Mitchell speaking, it's very important to recognize those opportunities and to be flexible enough to experience that. Life is short. Life is short, that's the bottom line. Just live it and experience what you can. Make the most of what you have. And share it if possible. Yeah, share it. That's that's what I'm all about. Alright guys, we're gonna eat some cow sweet. That's nuts. Yeah, seriously. Really good dinner. A uh, note for anyone visiting, from what we've read, the border closes at 9. We're hoping that we can make it. Yeah, because uh, unfortunately we won't be able to visit with our friends. They invited us to come to their house. Maybe we can go tomorrow morning? But possibly tomorrow, I mean... But anyhow, we do have to get there before... We do have to get to the border point before it closes. Um, otherwise, we'll stay the night here. Which we'd prefer Which, not to do. Yeah, because he has stuff on his bike. And yeah. Stay tuned. Give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Eat some cow soy if you get the chance. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.